latest market research is telling us that the internet is the most influential medium in our society. More powerful than television, more powerful than the print media. This week we'll be pulling together the best thinking from the million dollar team and creating a killer digital campaign for your business. The weekly workshop is already live, plus we're releasing literally dozens of shows from the team and other featured experts showing you how to get it done. Social networks now allow you to do everything you want to do online, so allow you to keep in contact with friends, allow you to share photos, they allow you to look at other sort of kinds of content from external websites, so people are spending less time on sites outside of this. So you kind of have to take the message to where people are going to be, which is within inside social media, rather than, you know, build a brand website and expect them to come. It's about taking your content to them. This is growing at such a phenomenal rate. If you decide I'm not going to do it, you're making a massive decision to be outside of a massive marketing engine that uh, is going to change the way that businesses are marketed. Uh, if we just look at Academy's growth, in January we had 6,000 members join. In May we had 17,000 members join. That's a huge growth in people that are starting to embrace digital marketing and understand how to communicate your message out there. So it's not a subject that you can choose not to do. I personally have been using LinkedIn since the second month it was launched. I started by inviting my personal network of probably 20, 30, 50 business associates. And over time, I invited all my clients and all the company clients. And slowly but surely, the network has increased. Uh, to, to several thousand uh, members. Currently, um, I believe LinkedIn has got 24 million members and I have a visibility of probably 50 million, so that's, you know, that, that's a substantial percentage, that's probably 60%. Uh, and that allows, uh, allows my products and services to be visible by 15 million uh, business, uh, business people. Uh, and also allows us, as a company, to search uh, in you know, 15 million professionals from different sectors worldwide. It's global, it's everywhere. There is, I mean, the big services we're all familiar with, the sort of day-to-day -day names, things like YouTube, Facebook, MySpace have all come out of the US, but there is social media and social media services in every single country and are being developed at a local level, regional, global, you know, they're everywhere. Everyone's using them. No surprise then that marketing departments the world over are falling over themselves to get involved with social networks, but with mixed results. That's because marketing through social networks is a very different proposition to the old style interruption marketing that we're used to. There's some great examples, and there's some not so great examples about how to use it, but I think people are really are still learning. I mean, there are so many ways you can work with social networks, but increasingly there's, you know, it's not just about advertising, it's about having a presence in the places where consumers interact. The new rules of marketing and PR um, always makes people think, well, what are the old rules? And the old rules are really simple. In an offline world before the internet, you only have two choices to get yourself noticed. You either have to buy your way in with expensive advertising, or you have to beg your way in with the media. And those are the only two options in an offline world. And that's not to say those things aren't important today, but to get uh, noticed online, it's really different. There are new rules, and the new rules are that you, have, that you can publish your way in using your own content. There's some good examples like uh, Intel created a page on MySpace that was like a collaborative music project, so people could, were pitching for a place in a band, and they created a supergroup out of the best entries. So it's kind of, rather than just being an advert on a social network is actually kind of acting how you want to be seen um, and kind of creating stuff and getting people involved and acting how you want to be perceived rather than just talking about it. As a company, at eOffice we have used search engines since 2002. We have a very successful uh, pay-per-click campaign. We then started to create our own community um, called myeoffice.net uh, among all our members. And uh, the community did very well initially, but then uh, the proliferation of uh, business network uh, gave very little time available to our members and clients. Uh, they then started to use networks like Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, we therefore decided to create groups, uh, groups uh, within um, the established um, online networks so that not only we could leverage the existing member base and provide additional service, for example, 
allowing them to share messages, ideas, posting, more information about our services or about the industry in general. It's fantastic for a small business like ours, you know, uh, we only started a few years ago, uh, we are able to compete with the big giants. So there is no doubt that the right presence on social networks is the way to create awareness and differentiate your business to thousands of potential customers. The next step is to work out which social networks are going to be most relevant for your business and develop an attraction profile to connect with them. Join me in the boardroom and we'll work through that.